For those that are wondering where I am currently in the simulated Atlas Earth account, we are getting very close to 150 parcels. I'm sitting at 113 parcels right now, so it's not going to be too much longer before I get to 150 and then start focusing on the badges and cashing out. So, that being said, we have the Spoils of Victory from the minigame last night. I'm going to be spinning the wheel twice, so let me get to the wheel. Okay, here is the first spin. And the first spin is going to be a... Ooh, it looks like an epic. It is an epic. Alright, on to the second spin. And the second spin is a common. So one epic and one common. Let's go to the board and see how much I will be making. So now at 115 parcels with a slightly above average distribution and getting about 46.2 cents per day. You see how these things start to build up. I think we, again, we started January 1st, so it has only been a little over a month. And already we're looking at like more money per day than I would be getting off of Microsoft Rewards off of uh, Mac Adam, off of several of the rewards apps that I currently am using. And this is passive. I don't have to do a thing other than maybe like boost. You know, I got to do my uh, rent boosts like every six hours. But other than that, this is great. And this is, again, with an eight hour sleeping time because that is uh, not 24 hours. It's 22 hours per day. So I'm assuming an eight hour resting period. So 46.2 cents, that's pretty good, and $14.36 per month. So yeah, we're moving on now. I want to talk about the Warship minigame, and I actually have some recordings from earlier about my feelings on it, so let's take a look at that. All right, so I have not played this game yet before. Um, this is the Warship minigame. I'm going to give it a try, get my first impressions, play several games, and see how it goes. So, again, you know, this is a very small mini game. looks like. I don't know who's on the leaderboard right now. Oh, wow. Okay, what's, uh, what are we looking at? Top 300? All right, sounds, sounds easy enough. I could probably do that. I guess top 300 is going to be, like, all the way down there somewhere. And Tom McDonald is ahead with 14 wins. So, let's see how this game goes. All right, I have an anonymous. All right. What am I supposed to do? Alrighty, so what? Look, look, look. So it's just. This feels like it's one of those games that. Oh, dang. It's faster. Of course it does. It's a timing game. I feel like the. I feel like the fastness, though, of this game. Oh geez, that was uh who won? I'm not quite sure. I I won? Okay. I'll take it. I'll try again. <laughs> uh so so yeah, the quickness of the game, especially when you get towards the end there. That that okay, I see okay, so you have to be right on the mark. I see now. Yeah, it's one of those timing games for sure. What's the X for though? That's what I'm trying to figure out. I feel like I'm always missing the X there. It's like I'm always missing towards the very end and yet I'm somehow winning and I don't know why I am winning. So I've won two in a row, but I'm still not entirely sure why I am winning. All right, let's try a third one here. All right, SR the Ruler. Go check out his channel, by the way. SR the Ruler. That's on YouTube. He's a cool guy. I'll probably put it on an overlay somewhere. Where no one can... Where it's not going to be sense... Oof. 
Did I win? I, I see the bars on the left and the right, and I guess I won again. I'm not quite sure how I'm winning, though. Um, maybe because I'm hitting it more than the others, but I find that very difficult to to say because I am absolutely not getting, especially the later stages. There I go. Now I'm somehow losing, and I don't know why. I'm, I'm, it's the same pace. I got that one. Okay, I'm pretty sure I lost that one. What, what happened? Not quite sure what happened, but I'm going to go ahead and just watch this ad and then get back to it. Okay, so um, I'm going to try this strategy. I'm going to try to miss those larger targets in the next one. So give that one a try. I have no luck 23 next. Definitely feels a little bit more skill-based. It's just when you get to the... Whoop, three, five. Okay, looks like I... Did in fact. Wait, now I'm the one that fired the missile? I don't understand that part. This feels almost random. Uh, I'm not quite sure. I'm, I'm pretty sure I won that one, but I'm not entirely sure. What I'm doing? Oh, sponsored by Walmart. Oh, sweet. Are we going to get Walmart for uh, Atlas Bucks? That would be awesome if they let us have uh, able to shop at Walmart for Atlas Bucks. Because I'm already shopping there. Okay, let's try this again. Five. Okay. There you go. Okay. Oh, geez, this is fast. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. Going up there with those. That is... That is some massive reaction time you have to have. I don't mind the slow charging. It's, uh... I connected it to my computer via Visor, so... Is not really even supposed to charge. Try this again. There you go. Nice. I've got a missile fire. That's good. Okay, so it does. So that is your missile that you have to hit. Okay, I just want to make sure. So once you hit it, then it will fire that shot or the missile. And that's how you deal more damage. Okay, so it's, it is straightforward. I just want to make sure of that. It is straightforward. One more game and see if I can do better on this one. And six wins right now. This feels a lot like DDR. <laughs> Just need some music. <laughs> I think I won just barely on that one. Okay, I think I found a strategy here that I can probably hit like three. Yeah, it is. It's powered by Walmart. I am wondering if this indicates that they're going to do Atlas Buck rewards for Walmart, actually. That would be, uh, honestly, for someone who shops at Walmart and Sam's Club almost exclusively, me, hey, Aldi a little bit, I actually kind of like this. <laughs> this, is, this will be very welcome. It definitely beats Burger King. Uh, all right, one more, and then we're going to go to the next, uh, next screen here. Uh, 
the next segment of this uh, video. So one more. Okay, last one. And then I'm just gonna play this the rest of the way by myself. Hit two, three, four, five. Uh, yep, definitely. I think it's the three, having to keep track of three things is what makes it so difficult. Got that one. Got that one. Okay, it looks like they kept track of all the X's too. I've been, I've been pressing a lot of the, I've been trying to press a lot of the buttons and I'm noticing that like, um, it does have like an automatic X regardless if you've pressed too many of them. I tried to press like all three at once in hopes that I'll get it hit, but no, it, it, that's a matter of you actually do have to have that kind of reaction time, which holy smokes, <laughs> that is some reaction time that you need. Because that, that's like split second reaction time. Uh, maybe that was by design. I don't know. But uh, yeah, so that is the a look at the Warship minigame, and I'm pretty sure we'll have different strategies and all that as time goes by with this. All right, so I might have something figured out here, and I thought I would give you my initial thoughts right now on the game. First off, I have a feeling that it's going to be between this and Racer for my worst performing game personally. Now that being said, um, let me go to the game itself and talk about my initial thoughts on it and certain findings that I found in this game. So I'm just going to... Fire up a game. I'm going to play. lay this face uh, basically flat on the desk, on my table here. And the reason why... Ooh, it's midnight. Check out his Twitch, by the way. Um, so I'll show you some of the characteristics. So the first one, one, two, three, four, five. There's the missile. So you fire five bullets. Oh, I missed that one. Eventually it gets to a point where it gets so fast that... Kind of just going to have to fire all three at once, which I initially said was impossible, but it looks like it is. And so, yeah, it's just a matter of pressing, of having reaction time to be able to fire all three at once like that. Pretty sure I lost that one. Uh, so, um, yeah, and after five bullets... Uh, a missile will drop, and if you hit that missile, that gives you additional damage. It's kind of like bonus, but if you miss a bullet at any time, it resets that clock. So I found that. I don't know about the other patterns regarding it yet. I think AJ mentioned that there's some patterns involved. But I'm not quite sure what that is yet. I might throw that all together as part of the minigame section in the optimal guide once I've figured it out or once the uh, chat's figured it out. So, yeah, that's another thing I wanted to show y'all. Alrighty, so I just completed this event. I had won 300 Atlas Bucks. I spent 64, I believe. I put down, yeah, I put down 64, so I profited about 236 Atlas Bucks for this uh, event, which is not bad for an impromptu event with barely any uh, Atlas Bucks on the line. So, yeah, that's not bad at all. Um, as far as Warship as a game, uh, my thoughts right now is that golfing is definitely still the best, and I think fishing is still second place, at least in terms of the game itself. Um, I think it is, at least for the moment from what I can see, better than Racer, but I can see the potential for it to be a real problem, and that's because of just how fast those last... Um, those last ones will be, and the last uh, arrows, I should say, the last bullets coming down would be. So I'm thinking that it could possibly be that once it starts getting exploits, that there will be some people that will be even more frustrated by Warship than they would even with Racer. And now with a fourth minigame on the horizon, we're going to start having four games a week. We're not going to be able to do all these games anymore. We might have to start picking and choosing. We'll see. Um, so at least for me, if I'm going to be picking and choosing three, I think at least for now, Warship would probably be what I choose over Racer. But past that, I don't know what I would do with the others. So, um, with you know, as, as time goes on and it gets better and better for other players, I don't know if I would keep playing is basically what I'm saying. So uh, that's my initial thoughts on it. 
Uh, I'm going to give a deeper analysis on this on Sunday. So I have a video getting ready on Sunday where I talk a little bit more about Warship, the minigame itself, and kind of the mechanics that I've seen and certain patterns that I've seen in the game. So just a quick look at the standings here in this board. Um, I did gain $5 out of uh, Microsoft Rewards. It was a five, No, $5 out of Cash Walk. My bad. So I got $5 out of Cash Walk, and I got a little bit more, about $2.20 or so, out of Amazon MTurk. And now I'm at $218 exactly. Now I'm going to be using 200 of these dollars for a secure, get, uh, secure credit card. I keep getting those mixed up. So uh, really we have $18 to use up. And that is where I'm going to stop right now. Um, once we hit $100, I will start seeking out a uh, brokerage so I can put some money into an ETF. I think that an ETF right now is a little bit more efficient than I-bonds. I'm sure a lot of you will agree with me on that one, especially even though I-bonds have that uh, fixed rate, that guarantee fixed rate bonus. It's not really having the high levels that we were getting when I first did this experiment back in 2022. So that's going to be the video, everybody. Um, if you like this video, please do give it a like. Uh, comment what you think of Warship and if you think you're going to enjoy it. And don't forget to subscribe to Beer Money Engine. Also, check out the community page. I have something regarding when we hit 2,000 subscribers. I want to do something a little special um, for 2,000. I know I said I was going to wait till 5,000, but... A couple of people, a couple of people, have been telling me that oh, go ahead and do two thousand, see what that's like. Especially since you know it's a, it's still a pretty big milestone. But this is it. After that, we're gonna stop. Or we won't stop until we hit five thousand. All right. So that's the video. Like, comment, subscribe. Let me say that again, and I will see you all next time. Bye, everyone.